Is this the simplest way to create this social media icons using HTML and CSS? Let's find out. Create a new folder, anywhere on your computer, and give it a name. Open the folder in VS Code. Let me zoom in for you guys to clearly see. Create a new file, I'm calling it index.html. Create another file, called styles.css. I will set up the basic HTML code, close the sidebar, and give the document a title. We will obviously link the CSS file. Then open this in the live server. I'm using an extension called Live Server to launch a development local server with live reload feature in the browser. We will need external icons, I will be using boxicons.com. These are high quality web icons. Head over to Usage, scroll down to Usage as a font. And copy this link. Now paste it below the CSS link. As always, I am using Google Fonts. In here, I will search for Outfit Font. Here it is. I will select the following font styles. Here they are. Click Import. Select this and copy it. Then paste it in your CSS file. Now select all elements on the web page, set the margin to zero. Padding to zero. Box, sizing to border box. And font family to outfit. Sans serif. Create a div with a class wrapper. This container or wrapper will hold all the social media buttons. Inside it, create another div of class button. This will contain individual buttons. This button will direct us to a link with target blank, enabling it to be opened in a new tab. It will redirect to Twitter, or is it called X today? We will have another div of class icon. Inside it, we will import the boxicon fonts. Add a span, with text element Twitter. We will duplicate this div. So, select it. And duplicate it four times. Change the second link to dribble and the icon to dribble. Third link to Instagram. Icon to Instagram. Fourth link to GitHub. Icon to GitHub. And lastly, Google Plus. Before I forget, I also need to change their corresponding text elements in the span tags. First, we will target both the HTML and body elements. Set their display to grid. Meaning, all elements will be treated as grid containers. Height, 100%. And width, 100%. This makes the web page fill the entire available screen space. 
Place items. Center. This is a property for centering the content inside the grid container both horizontally and vertically. Background. Linear gradient. Which starts at 320 degrees and goes from pure white at the start, to a shade of blue at 80%, along the gradient line. Next we will target the wrapper, and specifically buttons within this wrapper. Now let's add a hover effect on the buttons. I will increase its width to 200 pixels. Let's check it out. Perfect. Next up, we will target the icons. and add the following CSS to the class. Let's proceed by enlarging the icon size, and I believe we should modify their color as well, as black isn't very easily distinguishable. Excellent, just one more adjustment, and I believe we'll be finished. I'd like to make the icons darker when we hover over them. And also enhance the font size of the social media names. So, let's go back to our CSS. I remember that we placed the names within span tags. So we'll focus on styling those span tags. Perfect. Now, my question was, is this the simplest way? Let me know in the comments.